Freddie and I first met in Mililani. Uh, a colleague of mine introduced me to him. I knew she was coming because uh, Josie kind of planned it where, you know, we were supposed to meet. And after she introduced us, she walked away and she left us conversating for about an hour to two hours at a birthday party. You know, she was beautiful, gorgeous, you know, I mean, when we first got introduced, it was, hey, Freddie, this is Kim. Kim, this is Freddie. You know, and then she, she just left us on her own and we just started talking. <laughs> uh, the two hours that I was talking to him, I felt very comfortable. Yeah, I was just like talking to a friend. At that point, you know, I was interviewing her, you know, making sure, you know, I mean, if she, she's potentially, you know, someone that I could possibly, you know, date. Well, Freddie first became my life insurance client. And then a couple months later, he called me and um, wanted to roll over his retirement money with me. And a couple months after that, he kept calling and um, finding every excuse to want to talk to me. Throughout, you know, the months, you know, leading to us getting together, I mean, I, I thought she was pretty aggressive. I mean, she, she called me all the time and said, hey, you know, let's hang out. Actually, everything started at the Safeway in, um, in Kapahulu. And um, I was hearing rumors that he liked me. And um, because he is my client as well as a colleague of mine, I needed to clarify if that was really true. You know, it was at that moment when she kind of confronted me. She was like, hey, you know, I got to know, do, do you like me? And I was like, yeah, I do, you know. And from there, you know, um, Things just blossom. That I love about Freddie is that he is a God-fearing person. We share the same faith and the same values. That was very important to me. And, um, I think the most important thing is that I feel secure around him. And um, I feel like I don't have to doubt about my future with him, so. Uh, she's beautiful. She's hardworking. She's genuine, really big heart. Um, like, you know, there are times when like I, um, I owe a business and she literally came and, you know, supported me, you know, you know, in, in aspects where I never imagined. Um, she's just truly genuine and I love everything about her the characteristics that he displayed when we were friends um, was something that I admire for a husband. Um, every time I'd push him away, he always came back and he, uh, and he, um, he was very aggressive and persistent. <laughs> he never quit. And I was so surprised that he had the confidence to keep going after guys would, would quit after a year or so. And he just, he never gave up. While we were, you know, flying to Puerto Rico, it wasn't official yet, but, um, you know, like, it's a long flight to get from Hawaii to Puerto Rico. And like, you know, she was like really tired and, you know, you know, on a plane, you know, she's like bobbing her head and it was like, hey, you know, if you want, you could rest your, your head on my shoulders. And, um, but, uh, you know, that's when I kind of knew that, uh, you know, there, there was going to be something because, you know, the way she laid her, her head on my shoulders, you know, she kind of, like took my arms too, right? And I was like, oh, okay. Hi, hen. We finally did it. Seven to eight months of trying times, of funny times, uh, very challenging times, but we did it and you got your wish. I'm finally Mrs. Freddie Cantorna and I cannot wait to spend every single day with you. Are you ready? <laughs> I love you. Hey, hun, can you believe that this day has come? I thank God every day for bringing you into my life. You know, you're truly a blessing and an inspiration. You know, the past couple of years, as far as like getting to know you, I've learned so much about myself. And I can't thank you enough for your love, your support, and for everything you've uh, done for me. And I just want you to know that 
I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I love you. Thank you.